We live on a planet that is remarkably conducive to life. When we look up in the sky, we see the sun, moon, and stars. We look around and see plants. We have beautiful blue oceans covering the surface of the Earth. And we have this lovely atmosphere with roughly 20% oxygen that allows large animals to live. It is a planet that is an ideal home for a diversity of life forms. But Earth hasn't always been this way. If you look back through Earth's history, roughly 4 billion years ago, it would look very different. The sun was 30% dimmer. There were no large continents. Virtually the entire planet was covered with murky green oceans and filled with bacteria. The atmosphere didn't have any free oxygen. However, there is one feature in our planet's history that has remained virtually the same, the presence of liquid water on the surface of the Earth. That tells us that the global temperature has been mostly constant throughout our planet's history, fluctuating within about 10 degrees Celsius of what it is today. Now that's not to say that Earth hasn't experienced dramatic changes. We've had times when there were no glaciers on the Earth, then there were other periods when glaciers seemed to cover the whole Earth. But through all these dramatic changes, the one constant we see is that liquid water exists on Earth, and that's one of many requirements that allows Earth to support life. What we also see in Earth's history is a complex interplay between four factors that affect the temperature of the surface of the Earth. The Sun, the Earth's atmosphere, the continents, and the life forms. Making changes to any of these factors would have dramatic consequences on our planet, potentially making it unfit for life. Let's see how this has worked by fast forwarding our timeline to the middle of Earth's history, around two to two and a half billion years. At this point, the ocean is still green, but the sun is getting brighter. The planet's oceans are filled with ancient bacteria. Some of these bacteria are causing an influx of oxygen into the atmosphere, triggering a chain reaction where Earth's temperature plummets, driving the planet into an ice age. Thankfully, it's during this time that continents had clumped together into large supercontinents. As the continents started spreading apart, they began releasing carbon dioxide and warming up the Earth's atmosphere. This process eventually brings the planet out of an ice age and returns the temperature back to a place more conducive to life. If these events had happened earlier, the sun may have been too dim to pull us out of this ice age. Our planet could have ended up as a permanent giant snowball covered in glaciers. Over the next two billion years, the Earth's climate bounces around between an ice age and a hothouse. Even in these extreme sounding conditions, Earth's surface had lots of liquid water. But eventually, the Earth's temperature stabilized long enough that it becomes just right for God to create humans. This set of interdependent factors, the brightness of the sun, the presence and location of the continents, the gases in the atmosphere, and the types of life forms living on the Earth at any given time, have kept Earth's global temperature within about 10 degrees Celsius of what it is today for the last 500 million years. It's been warmer in the past. It's also been cooler in the past. But it's always been in a range where liquid water can exist. And that is one of the key factors that makes Earth so habitable. The fact that this complex interplay happened in just the right way over a few billion years seems miraculous. Somehow Earth transforms step by step from being a formless and void planet one that is empty of life and even hostile to life, into an ideal environment for a stunningly diverse array of life, including human beings. This points to an incredible amount of fine-tuning that points to a supernatural creator who orchestrated the entire thing from the very beginning.